Hello, <clears throat> welcome to the Revit tutorial for creating a model. To begin with, we're going to open up a new project. Just going to wait for it to load. Right, so to construct a model, the first thing we need to do is to create levels. Now, this will determine the ground floor, the first floor, the roof level. So, to do this, we need to open up the elevations tab and let's just go to the north view. As you can see, there are two levels, level 1 and, and 0. These numbers 400 and 0, they just tell you the height of each level in millimetres. So the first thing we're going to do, just zoom out. Right, now we've got a good view of both levels. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a third level. Go to the Home tab, in Datum section, click Level, and we'll just put it anywhere above level 1. doesn't really matter right now. Right. Now what we're going to do is to change the heights. So for level 1, we're going to enter 3,500. Enter. Level 2, 8,500. And click Enter. Now it's gone slightly out of view, so we'll just zoom to fit. There we go. Now the names level 0, 1 and 2 don't make much sense, so we'll call this one 00 ground level. Now you need to make sure you click Yes to rename the corresponding views. Now I'll rename this to 01 first level. Yes to rename corresponding views. Level 2 can be 02 roof level. Hit enter and click Yes. Now we've created the levels. After the levels have been created, now we can go on to the model itself. So we go into the ground level 4 plan, click on wall. As you can see, this is the basic wall. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to edit the materials of the wall. To do that, what we're going to do is click Edit Type. In the structure, we're going to click Edit, and we're going to change masonry brick. The finish material. We're going to change that to. We just click these three dots here. To the materials, we'll find concrete cast in situ and click OK. Click OK again. Give it a second, and OK again. Right, now we're going to draw out the shape of our building. So if we just uh, start uh, here, right, we'll go 3,000, enter, 5,000, enter. Now you can, of course, just move the mouse until you find the desired magnitude and we're just going to enter them in quickly in the keyboard makes life a lot easier 5,000 thousand and finished the outline there now the next thing you need to do is to make sure that the concrete is on the outside not the inside so to do that we click on the wall and we want the arrows to be on the outside so all these walls all the arrows on the outside perfect now the next thing you need to do is right click this wall, select all instances, visible in view. This will select all the walls. Now in the properties we'll change the top constraint to first level. Apply. So that's it, we've done the, the walls. Now we need to do the floor. So click on floor. Now we can use the rectangle tool or the line tool. In this case we'll use the line tool, we'll draw it around outside of the building. You can of course zoom in to get it perfect, but that will do. And we can click the green tick to finish. Perfect. Now the next step is to put the roof on. We're going to have it stepped roof, so we'll click on roof, make sure it says first level and click yes. Now Rectangle tool, draw a simple rectangle from the corner to corner and click. Hit escape. Now click on the on the edge of the roof and change the pitch to zero on each side. Zero, zero, pitch zero. Perfect. Now if we click on the green tick to go. 
that's that roof done. You shouldn't be able to see it, so we'll click on first level. There it is. Bingo. Now we're going to mirror the roof. Do I click on the mirror draw axis icon? And we'll mirror it. Make sure you've got the triangle. Click there. The triangle just indicates that it's a midpoint. Click anywhere there. There we go. Mirrored the roof perfectly. Now we'll do the inside walls, the interior walls. To do that, we'll just zoom in a little bit more. There we go. Now if we move across to the wall. Now, however, we don't want the interior walls to have concrete, so we'll edit type. We'll duplicate it and we'll call it interior wall. Click OK. Click edit. And we'll change this from concrete to plasterboard. Find plasterboard. There it is. Click OK. OK again. And OK third time. There. Now we change the base constraint to ground level, top constraint to first four, and click apply. Now we'll just draw these walls anywhere here. Doesn't really matter at this particular moment. Make sure it's center of each wall to center of wall. Press escape. Now we'll align the walls to bring them onto the roof. Make sure it's flat level. Click align, click on the roof, click on the wall. There you go. It's moved. Now same on the other side. Click on the roof. Click on the wall. Perfect. And it is aligned perfectly with the roof. Now it's nice and flush along the side. Now the next thing we need to do is to do the exterior walls. Make sure we're in first level. Home. Wall. Now we'll select the original wall which we changed, which was cavity 102.75 100p. Yep. Now we will change the base constraint to first level and the top constraint to unconnected or uh, yes unconnected and we'll change unconnected to 3500 click apply now we will sketch out the exterior walls there we go now we're not going to go all the way around because the front wall we want to be a curtain wall so we'll stop there hit escape now to make Make sure all these, the arrows on the outside, perfect. Now we're going to bring this wall up to this level by changing the top constraint to roof level. Apply. And there you go. That wall has come right up. Now what we're going to do is to add the roof. Now in order to add the roof, we need to click on the elevation... We'll select West. First, let's bring this wall to match that wall. We'll just click on it, use the blue arrow, and drag it down. Doesn't matter if it's perfect right now, we'll just bring it about level. Hit Escape. Now we'll click on the arrow underneath Roof. No, that's Floor. We'll click it underneath Roof. Let's hit Cancel. Roof. Roof by extrusion. Make sure it's pick a plane and hit OK. Select the first level wall and hit OK. Now we can use any of the tools in the draw box, but we'll use this SP line tool, spline tool, and we'll create a smooth curve. Any design doesn't really matter which right now. You can do a simple line, you can do a flat roof, you can do a dome. <clears throat> there we go. And now to finish, hit escape when you're done. Now the only constraint you've got when drawing this roof is to make sure you do not go over the roof level. As you can see, the pink line we've drawn is underneath the roof level. Make sure you don't go over. Now change the extrusion end to minus 9710 and hit apply. Then when you're done, click the tick button. Now as you can see, the problem is that the wall now is going through the roof. We need it to match, we need it to come flush with the bottom of the roof. So to do that, we click on the wall, attach top base, and click on the roof. And it will automatically fit nicely under the roof. 
Now we go to south, do the same again, click on the wall, touch top base, and click on the roof. And we'll do this for each of the elevations, north, click on the wall, touch top base, roof, and finally, east, on the wall, touch top base, now click on the roof. There we go. Now we've created the the model itself. Now we need to add doors and windows. So we go to the ground level plan, zoom in a little more. Now we can see what we're doing. Right, so we're going to first put doors in. If you see here, here you can select the different types of doors. Now there's only two doors available here. Uh, so to add more, we'll just click on any of them right now, doesn't really matter which, just to get out of the menu. We'll click on load family, we'll go to doors, we want to put external doors first, and then here you can select all the different types of doors as you can see in the preview window, but for now we'll click on the concept, we'll click open, and that immediately, once you give it a second to load, you can put the wall in, the door in. So we can put one here, we'll put one here, then we'll also need a couple of emergency doors, one here, and one here. Now what we're going to do is select door again and put the interior doors, we'll select the double external flush door. The location doesn't really matter. So we'll just put one there, one there. Again, if you didn't want the preset external double flush door, you could, of course, go into load family and load one up. And if you didn't want the exact dimensions there, you can click on the edit type and edit the height and width, as we will do now with the window. So now we'll click on the windows. You know, there's only a plain one, so we'll click on edit type. We'll put those two there. We'll put three on this side. Okay, now we'll click on window, change these. Now we'll duplicate it and we'll call this one a large plane window and click OK. Now we'll change the height 1000. 200 seems reasonable and then we'll change the width to two and a half meters so 2500 and hit OK now we can put one here there and finally one just about there then we'll have one here, one here, and one looking out the back. Right, now we want to put in the large curtain wall window here on this large front wall. So what we'll do is, we'll just click on the south, just to show you that we want a big large window here. So we'll go into ground level, we'll click on window, click edit type, duplicate it, we'll call it large curtain wall window hit ok go down in the dimensions we'll put the width as 8000 and the height as 4000 click ok now we can put the window in here right there now if you look in the first floor level you can see that the window has gone up to the next level which is perfect Go back to ground level. Now I want to put a back window at the back. Put one right here. So what we'll do is we'll click edit uh, window, then edit type. Click on duplicate. We'll call it smaller or small curtain wall back window. And click OK. In the width or the height, we'll change that to 2500. Leave the width the same. Click OK. And we'll put that about there. And that's that done.
we've created the model, we've put in all of the doors. Now the final thing to do is to open up the families tab. Now we need to make sure that we rename all the doors. Concept external door doesn't say the word door, so we'll call it concept external door. Hit enter. External double flush, change that to external double flush door. Make sure that has got the word door. And the internal single, we'll re rename that to internal single door. Okay, now we'll go down and do the windows. The single plane window, which is the only one we've used. We'll rename that to single plane, sorry, not door, window. And that's that. We've completed the model. We've put in all of the elements, doors, windows, roofs, floors. Just double check, click on the ground level, see everything's okay. Now let's put in the rooms. We need to tell Revit where the rooms are. So we can use the room tool to do this. We'll click on room. Now what we can do is just identify here, you can see the blue area, select the room, one room, two room, three room, there you go. Now if we type into the keyboard, upon selecting all three, we can go to roof level, hit apply, now we can type in VG, once you type in VG, it will come up with this window here. Scroll down to rooms, tick the interior fill box and hit OK. And the rooms will automatically fill with a light blue colour. And that's that. We've identified the rooms, doors, windows. Now if we just click on the view tab, 3D view, default 3D view. There we have the completed model. Can use the orbit tool we can use the center tool to put the pivot in the middle of the roof then use the orbit to rotate round and have a look at what we've completed and what we've done as you can see everything seems nice the back windows flush with the roof got a back exit door back window everything seems seems well thank you for watching the tutorial please tune in for the next video on how to import the model into Autodesk Ecotect Analysis.